Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in to Amber's Cooking Corner. Um, today we're gonna bake some banana bread. I have some really ripe bananas, and this is the best kind of banana to use for a banana bread. Um, I'm trying not to let anything go to waste. Uh, right now, while we're in the middle of filming, we're in, um, in the middle of like a quarantine right now. So we've been home, I think it's about 24 days straight right now. So we're kind of coming up with new recipes to make, trying to use everything that we have in the house. Um, and my son is videotaping. My other son is helping put it all together. So this is kind of a family affair. Um, and we're all just trying to make things work, keep occupied. And I thought, what better way than to share with you some recipes that I have, um, that I've made for my family over the years, um, that they've all enjoyed. So I think you might too. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with in our mixer here is three small bananas. Um, if you have larger bananas that have gone bad, you could just use the two, it's fine. Um, if you don't have a mixer, just put them in a big bowl and you can use your hand mixer for this as well, it's fine. Um, so what I do is I just peel them apart. I take them out, obviously. The browner, the better. It's more sweet that way. So we're just gonna get everything in here. With this recipe too, I'm just gonna just do it a regular banana bread way, um, but optional things that you can put in here too are some chocolate chips, some walnuts, things like that. I've gotten creative in the past and made sort of like a strudel topping. Um, but this is just gonna be your traditional banana bread. So I put the bananas in, I'm gonna lock it, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a mix just to get it going. To the bananas, I have a third cup of vegetable oil. So I'm gonna throw that right in. One cup of sugar. And I'm gonna slowly let that go in there. Pick it up a notch there. I'm gonna do about three quarters of a tablespoon of vanilla. I know that sounds like a lot, but it really boosts up the flavor. Three eggs. The eggs I like to do one at a time. So I'm gonna stop the mixer for a second, pop this open, and make sure I don't get any shells in there. Just give that a mix. Turn it off, and we'll just keep going with the other two eggs. This recipe is really easy and it's usually with stuff you already have in the house. Best part about this banana bread is I use it with a baking mix, something like a bisquick. So you don't have to use any of the salt and leavening agents you'd have to use in any other kind of baking. So this right here is two and a half cups of the baking mix or bisquick, whatever you have. I just kind of dump it all in at once. Lock it, start it off slow. Once you see it all incorporate, Once you see it's all incorporated, you can kind of kick it up a little bit just to really make sure it gets mixed in there. I open it up, scrape the sides, and give it another little mix, and then I put it in an oven on 350 for about, this is a bread, so it might take about 40, 45 minutes, but you're gonna wanna keep checking it with a toothpick. As soon as it comes out clean, it's good, and we'll see that. So I've already mixed up the bananas. I'm just taking a regular size loaf pan here, giving it a good spray. Get some of the excess off here. Don't want to waste anything. 
So this is what the mixture looks like, just like this. Okay. And I'm just going to pour it right into the loaf pan, just like that. This recipe actually makes a perfect amount for this loaf pan. Okay. I usually give it a little shake, bang it to let those ear bubbles out, and then I'm going to pop it into the oven. Okay, so the 45 minutes is up. We're going to check the bread, and I believe it's going to be ready for you now. I have my toothpick. Pull it out. It looks nice and golden. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's check it out. Right in the center. Clean. Perfect. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it on my cooling rack. I'm going to let it hang out there for about maybe 15, 20 minutes, brew a nice hot cup of coffee and give it a try. So the bread's all done. It's been cooling. I'm ready to cut into it and give it a try. Don't tell anybody, but I like the middle, so I'm going to cut in the middle. Mmm. some good bread you're gonna to want to give it a try and it's like I said a nice hot cup of coffee in my Disney mug by the way that's all I have here are Disney mugs okay thanks for watching ciao